yeah, I think growing up, I was a student of the game, right? And so I was always and just being focused and driven. I was trying to find a way to constant, constantly improve. There was a couple old books like The Inner Game of Tennis and The Power of the Subconscious Mind. I think uh, I think a mindset, I, all of us can say, is something you need to have to be successful, a certain type of mindset. Um, and I was trying to find ways to continuously improve. And one of those things is the mindset, not just mental toughness and and those type of things when adversity comes, but how does how does uh, you know how can your mind affect uh, your uh, your play or your outcomes positively or negatively? I remember one of my teachers growing up would complain to my mom because I would only check out books at the school library when we had to read a book that had something to do with basketball, <laughs> right? Um, and it, it was kind of one of those things. I was always looking for a way to improve and. Uh, uh, the what I would do at in high school, I started doing it in high school and at, at UW my rest of my career was um, I would make sure I was rested, right? I wasn't uh, uh, I wasn't going to be able to, you can't do this if you're tired and wanting to fall asleep, right? But I, I would get to a state of, of meditation, right? Where you start out uh, just getting your mind centered and at peace right? Where you're not thinking about the past or the future, um, especially in sports, that can affect your outcomes. Uh, you know, when you're in the past, you feel depressed or unconfident, and when you're in the future, you feel anxious, right? You want to play in, play in the present, be in the present moment, and be grounded. Um, and so getting into that meditative state, and then from there, once you're in that state, um, playing the game in your mind before the game. So I would go, I would go through different sets that we ran and stuff, and see myself making the shots, uh, making certain passes, making certain plays. Seeing, uh, I was a student of the game, so I was, I was one thing I was good at was being able to remember the other team's plays. Um, so I would see myself defensively rotating. You know, I, you're playing the game in your mind mm. um, before you actually go out there and play that, and then from there, it's just. You know, once you do that, then actually getting into the game and staying focused. I had a routine that I would do, obviously, like a lot of players do, of, of drills or shooting that they would go through before the game. Um, but the the big thing to me, the competitive edge, I still think since we are in the today, the day and age of information, I still don't understand why more people uh, haven't tapped into this. But, you know, the visualization aspect, I think, is uh, is something that is a competitive advantage for sure. Were there some times where you, you saw ex- or you experienced exactly what you were visualizing beforehand, or was it just an ability to relax and, and know or give yourself the confidence that, hey, I can, I can do this when the, when the lights are shining and I'm actually out there? Like, what was the intention that you had behind it? Uh, I, th- I think with the visualization, the intention behind it is uh, to help build your confidence, reassure yourself um, that you can do um, what you've been training or practicing to do. Um, I think, uh, you know, when the when the lights are on and the popcorn is popping, there's some guys that are gamers and there's some that aren't. Um, and I believe a lot of that, it just comes down to somebody's ability to control their own mind. Mm. Um, and so f- for me, it, it was to try to just control my own mind. Um, you know, when you go out there and you visualize and then you go out and play, and you're and you're playing well there's no surprise to it you've already done it in your mind you've already played the game in your mind and i think that was the uh that that was the biggest thing for me was i knew it was giving me a competitive edge because i believed what i was seeing 